Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to another 1v1 battle episode to the channel. In this matchup we're fighting with our Aventureiros, or Foot Knights, or uh, brave Lusitanian noblemen that uh, cross the waves, fully armored and here to fight. Our most elite infantry unit we can recruit, the most heavy, uh, heavily armored one as well. 80 soldiers, 30 morale, 12 melee attack, 20 melee defense, 5 charge bonus, 12 bonus versus cavalry, and 15 armor. Hold firm and a very good square uh, spear formation. If you've seen the, the challenge episode, they, it really works well against higher numbers. But there you go, our most elite infantry unit. Incredibly heavy armor, high morale, incredibly high melee defense, and poor charge bonus, but that, just because they're very heavy, so it makes sense. And today we are fighting against a unit that one of you recommended, and it, it's honestly a very interesting matchup. The Taka, Tadakatsu, no, sorry, Tadakatsu, Tetsubo Warriors. Sorry, sorry about the mispronunciation, guys. Tadaka, Tadakatsu, yeah, all right. The, let's say the, the uh, tsu, Tsubu, Tsubu Warriors. The Tsubu Warriors. There you go. Sorry. <coughs> so there you go. Uh, the Tsubu warriors, uh, as you guys can see, not a, sh a spear, not a sword, not a glade, not a bow. Huge maces or war clubs. Look at these things, they are scary. I would not want to be hit by that. But yeah, I believe this is probably the only unit in the game that has this. And this is one of the hero units, even though it doesn't have a hero in the name. When it has a name like... Tadakatsu, so the warriors usually a hero unit, and you can see that by their numbers. Only 70 soldiers, 20 morale, 25, 25 melee attack, 6 melee defense, 15 charge bonus, 0 bonus against cavalry, fair enough, you have clubs, and 8 armor with banzai and war cry and resistance to morale shocks. So as you guys can see, essentially the polar opposite from our Aventureiros. These are an incredibly offensive unit offensive unit in the way of attack focused not necessarily on charge but high melee attack we'll start going against them and we'll see which is the most elite of the two the uh, we are fighting against the tokugawa clan because they're the neutral clan and uh, that unit doesn't really receive bonuses against anything else but so let's start this elite 1v1 matchup and actually see who will win will the incredibly high melee melee attack and uh, the war clubs be enough to beat down and break down our armor or will our brave nobles be enough or knights but yeah let's see and they have 10 soldiers less okay. let's see how this goes Ah, oh, the the animation is still like the the Nodachi one. Hold firm. They kill a lot more of us than we have of them. This is uh not looking good for us, guys. Not looking good for us at all. Come on, come on. Let's go. Ooh, that's a good. Huge maces. Okay. Uh, uh. Ooh. Yeah, I wish the animation was different, but like, just like them whacking us. But no, I look here. Yeah, like a sword. But still. Oh, Speak? Oh my god. Our general has fallen, but they are the ones that broke. Alright, that was close, guys. So, they killed 44 of us. And how many of them survived? 18. Okay. We managed to hold on, so in this last matchup, they'll be fully upgraded against our unupgraded Aventureiros, and we'll see how it goes. See you guys in a little bit.
Hi all, welcome to Second Fight, and this time the Tadaksu Tesubo Warriors are fully upgraded. 28 morale, 29 melee attack, and 14 melee defense. Again, sorry about the mispronunciation of the Tadaksu Tesubo Warriors. Hopefully, I'm kind of saying it all right. First battle, or first fight, they did lose. Not by much, but they did lose. So, in this second one, it's most likely that they will beat our Aventurators, and then we'll see fully upgraded what happens. But you never know. If our Aventurators do win this one, that will be it. And this very high offensive attack unit will not have been able to, to be our most elite infantry. Alright. Let's get ready to see what will happen. Come on. Let's Our go. Is in grave danger, my lord. Wait for the oh no, the banner man. Okay, hold firm because they're using their ability and I don't want to break it. Break. Yeah, okay, Doug. Uh, let's see how sustained combat goes. Uh, we have more soldiers and we already have less than them. This second one is looking like they'll have it. But you never know. Ooh, not good indication, is it? Yep, seems that they do have it fully upgraded. They they are beating the Aventurators or Foot Knights. Oh, come on. Here's the their officer, the clear distinctive. Come on, come on, come on. Look at this. We are holding. Uh, kudos on us. High morale. And I say that our general dies, and we we'll probably break. But there you go, we're fighting almost to the last man, 43 to 16 knights, that's, that's what high morale does. We already gained one chevron of experience, but now we're, I think we're finally breaking. There you go. Still managed to kill 30 out of them. Ah, we almost fought the last man, no surviving soldier from our end. So there you go guys, second fight, the... The Tsubo Warriors fully upgraded, one against our Aventurators. Now we'll have the decisive fight, both units fully upgraded, and we'll see who really wins. See you guys in a little bit. Hi all, welcome to the third fight. This time our Aventurators, our Foot Knights are fully upgraded, 38 morale, 16 melee attack, and 28 melee defense. Still fighting against the Tadaktsu Tsubo Warriors, sorry, mispronunciation there. Fully upgraded, 28 morale, 29 uh, melee attack, and 14 melee defense already charging against us. Let's see how this pans out. Decisive battle of these two elite units. Offense against defense. Let's see who wins. Our general is in grave danger. The banner man is trying to say that. I'm not going to start with that. I'm not getting into this. Oh, no. Oh, firm, because they're already, like, using all their abilities. Wow. We have less soldiers, 10 less soldiers, and less than they already killed more. It's not looking good. Okay, equal numbers, sustained combat. Hopefully will give us an edge. It seems like that. Now that the sustained combat is ongoing, it looks like we have a slight advantage. Look at their officer here. Yep. Sustained combat is proving us. It's proving to be in our favor. I mean. Alright. Still close though. Come on. Kill this like huge war club unit. There you go. They be running, I think. My lord! Yep. A 
So there you go, guys. In this elite matchup, we won. The Aventureros proved their level of elite units in the game is unmatched so far. So there you go, guys. The Tadaktsu Tesubo Warriors, again, sorry about the mispronunciation, did not manage to beat us. And the Aventureros still prove to be the best. So thank you very much for watching this 1v1, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and see you all next time.